great rewards are coming mm -hmm. to those who believe. Yes. Believe in what? Believe that Jesus is God. Mm -hmm. Many things coming. In uh, my previous video called Strong Delusions, I told you of things to be aware of, to, to be warned against. Uh, for the Jewish nation as well as the Gentiles, pe Gentile peoples. Those uh, churches in Revelation that I spoke of, those were the things that were to come in this time that will happen at the beginning now and into the tribulation time coming. Things to be aware of. And this, t this video I'd like to tell you about the rewards that are coming to these same people. Mm -hmm. One day... It's going to be one new man, Jew and Gentile, together in Messiah. That's the day we're looking forward to. When, when all peoples come to him who have faith in, in Yeshua, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Right now, the bride is preparing to leave. Those that love the Lord now, we're preparing to leave the earth. Because it's the advent of the time of the tribulation, uh, the, the uh, judgments of God, the uh, strong activity, that's a uh, satanic activity that's coming on the world. And it's, it's here now. These things are about to happen. So I'd like to have you look with me in Matthew 5. And this funny word called Beatitudes. Blessings. Yes. Blessings. Blessed are the poor in spirit for what? Theirs is the kingdom of God or the kingdom of heaven. What's the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of God? It's when Jesus is back on earth, ruling and reigning for a thousand years on the planet. Mm -hmm. So those that are poor in spirit means they are humble. Humility. Humility before God. You will inherit that kingdom. And blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. What's mourning about? Are we blessed because we mourn for so many things? What would, what would, what would be the mourning that we would be blessed for? Caring about people who have not turned their life to the Lord. Caring for the nations of the world who rant and rave against God, caring for them, mourning for they're going to miss heaven and heaven here on earth. Yeah. In, the, in life today, too, though, the, the great comforter is here to be our comforter in all things. There's many things to be sorrowful for, many sad times as death reigns still. As long as there's death, we're going to have mourning. Yeah. God is our comforter. And we can be comforted. And then it says, Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. That's not inherit heaven. Meek is kind of like humility, isn't it? We're not haughty. Or they are not haughty. Hard fighting, meek, strong, standing firm, not weak. Mm -mm. No. And what do the meek get? The earth. This is where the kingdom of heaven will be, back on earth, the renewed earth, partially renewed earth. One day it will be a new heaven and a new earth, but this will be the renewed earth. Back here, inheriting the land. And who inherits the, the Holy Land. Yes, you Jews do. Mm hmm You Jews will. The Jews that believe in Messiah are part of the bride, and they will return in a glorified body. But the Jews, the rest of the Jews who receive Messiah at his coming, you'll be in your natural body, and he will give you the land. You know, it was allotted out to the 12 sons of Jacob, wasn't it? And switched around a little bit for Manasseh and Ephraim. <laughs> Yes, inheriting earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for food. Righteousness. Being right with God. 
for they shall what? Be filled. If you're hungry for righteousness and doing, you know, you know, we have to work at things a little bit. Being right with God. We shall be filled. We shall have righteousness. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Yeah. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Pure in heart is pure in spirit. You know, a bro broken and wounded spirit who can bear, but God can heal it. God can come in and cleanse it and, and protect it and care over your spirit and dwell there as well. Pure in heart, for they shall see God. Ah. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God, children of God. Peacemakers. It's hard to make peace in a time of war, isn't it? We have peace within ourselves, even though the world is raging even though everything's falling apart, God can dwell within us and we can have peace. It's one of the best gifts I've ever had, ever will have. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake. Many people are persecuted for Christianity today. Even Judaism, we have a lot of anti-Semitism on the planet, don't we? We have a lot of anti-Christian, anti-Messianic believers. Those who are persecuted for that will receive the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. So it's amazing what's coming. These are future gifts from God. To you Jews and to you Gentiles. And to the Jews, he says so beautifully in 1 Peter 2, 9, You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and a holy nation. Can you imagine all of Israel, all of Jacob, as a holy priesthood? That's what he's working towards, to bring you into holiness. And to you Christians as well, to bring you into holiness. Yeah. And then a beautiful promise here to be in the temple of God from Psalm 23. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life, and you shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. House of the Lord is the temple in Jerusalem, the temple where Yeshua Jesus will reign and rule for a thousand years. So as long as that temple stands, you will live there with him. Whew. That's pretty neat promise. Mm -hmm. Pretty neat promise. Okay, now I'd like to move on to the Revelation churches that I started with in, in uh, uh, Strong Delusion. And uh, once again, the rewards are coming here in this one called Great Rewards. Yes, you know, the bride has departed for these churches. They've gone on for that time of tribulation. They're not here. That's me <laughs> and any of our believers today. We're going on. And this massive amount of people that will come to faith, it's going to happen during the tribulation time, but it won't be easy. It will be hard. So there'll be churches reigning for a short period of time, this one new man. And even some of these things that can, like I said before, these, 12, these seven churches, we now, we can find out what the blessings are. We can find out what the warnings are, can't we? And live by them. Here's the first one. I love it. You will have access to the tree of life in the paradise of God. You know what? Garden of Eden is returning. That's the paradise of God. That's where the tree of life was. That's where the tree of life is. And that's where the tree of life will be. Yeah, the Garden of Eden is coming back. Earth, Earth isn't a wicked, horrible place. Only mankind has made it so. It's a blessed place. And one of these blessings it's for these people and for us that we will see that tree of life again in the paradise of God. Wow. You'll not be hurt by the second death. Who's hurt by the second death? Those that are resurrected, 
and deny Messiah and God as God, they will die again and go to the pit. You don't want to be in that bunch. Uh-uh. There are many resurrections, you know. Mm -hmm. Another one is we'll have hidden manna. These saints that were coming in us, we'll have hidden manna. What is that? We know what a manna is, don't we? It's like, what's that? The, the, the God fed the Israelites when they came out of Egypt. Yeah, he's going to take care of Israel again in that form. And he's going to take care of all, all believers in that form. But the Lord himself said, I have food that you know nothing about. Is that what it is? I don't know, but it's bound to be a good thing. This is a blessing, hidden manna, hidden food for you. Is it information? Is it understanding him better? Take a whole, t whole hour and discuss that, right? Yeah. And then the interesting thing here is you will be given a white stone, these, these Christians. A white stone, what is that? I've read many things about it, trying to figure it out. But the best answer I have found was that when you left prison, you were given a, red, a white stone. When you were going to prison, you had a black stone. So the, the white stone is a symbol of his forgiveness. The, the, uh, the, the um, sentence is taken off of you. You're set free. Wow. That's, that's a lot. That's really a lot. And here's an odd one. You have power over the nations. What is that? Oh, yes, you will rule and reign with him. Power means authority. Yeah. Ruling. Then it says that uh, we are given, they are given salvation and their names are written in the book of life. And this is a beautiful thing. Jesus Yeshua brings you to God. You don't face God alone, do you? By the blood of the Lamb. We talk a lot about the blood in Christianity, don't we? But it's through Him. He, he introduces you to the Almighty. <laughs> Who, of course, He is. I know, it's hard to understand. Can you imagine? He's being right there with you as you face God. If you go into the Holy of Holies in heaven, you face God. Um... You also have the blessing of being a pillar in the temple. What's the temple? Yeshua's temple that will be built. Not the one that's coming, but his temple. He will build it himself. He will be a pillar. Now, the pillars were Boaz and Joaquin, the entrance of the temple. Pillar, meaning authority, righteousness, a good name. And upon you, Jesus will write God's name. He'll have a name for you on it. He will put on the name of the new Jerusalem. And Jesus himself will have a new name. We already know it's Yeshua. But what else will it be? Well, we don't know. And upon you, that name will be written. Meaning you are covered. His name means a lot, doesn't it? In this name, in his name we pray, right? In his name we cast out demons. In his name we stand strong against all. And now there'll be new ones. And they'll be written on you somehow. Maybe here. Wow. And then here's the last one. These people will be blessed in us, maybe will be blessed and they will sit on the throne of the Almighty on Yeshua's throne in his temple. Remember, he's going to be sitting on the throne of David. David's throne, meaning the, the lineage from David, Yeshua will be sitting on it. And these believers, or even us maybe that are still here, are going to be sitting on that throne with him. Yeah. 
we will have authority. And I'd like to read to you from Revelation in closing. The amazing things that God is doing for these tribulation saints, as I call them. Yes, they come to faith after the bride is left. They find God through the hardest, hardest, most horrible part in time. Beheaded even. Uh, I'd like to read to you um, from Revelation 20, verse 4. And I saw thrones, and they sat on them, and judgment was committed to them. Then I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for their witness to Jesus and for the word of God, who had not worshipped the beast or his image and had not received his mark on their foreheads or on their hands. And they lived and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. That is the blessing for them. That is the one who will take their crowns and throw them at his feet. The tribulation saints. They too are going off to heaven. But they'll stay short time and be returning with the Lord as we all come back with him. Many blessings coming forth. There's blessings to those who have not seen and yet believed. Many blessings. Look to the future. Know that there is a goal. Know that you have a reward coming. And that's not why we uh, love the Lord for a reward. The word reward enough is just to be in his presence, isn't it? God bless you this day.